All our fears are coming to a close in the past year, two years actually, 2023, 2022, and 2024 literally three years of this chaos, we were faced with all our biggest fears in life. Losing our family, um, still struggling with independence as somebody that grew up um, being conditioned that they didn't know anything and to stay disabled. Um, we also got faced with our biggest fear of being alone and really seeing how much we struggle with life by ourselves having to face that harsh reality. We had to face all our biggest fears at once over the course of this time. And it feels like it's been nonstop, just chaos, destruction. Our entire life fell apart when we left our ex. We had to reface the family trauma all over again. We were technically home homeless, bouncing from place to place of anybody that would help us, but constantly being manipulated by men, taking advantage of us, taking our disability check in, taking advantage of our bodies. We had to, in the Texas situation, almost starve to death at our survival. We had to learn some survival skills to keep ourselves fed and to tread on and move forward. But now, fast forward to here, I'm still standing. I've proved to myself that I can face anything. Hi, Spooky everything. Ghost Fam, and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we have a very special episode of Life in the Land of Ghosty, where we're going to be sharing our biggest fears and insecurities um, in life with starting life again as a 28-year-old that still has no idea what the heck they're doing, has little to no life skills, and whose mental health has been beaten to obliteration. We think we're starting to get to kind of a happy ending where we're able to actually make a life for ourselves, actually get stable enough, actually don't have things falling apart every freaking year, you know? It's been like that my entire adulthood. It's been like that my entire childhood where things would be going good and they would just fall apart. We no longer have to worry about that because good news, we are moving. We found out that we did indeed get the dream place. We got the dream apartment and I will be moving in August and I am more than excited. This is our last month filming content in this apartment. That's insane. So we're gonna make this month very impactful and we're going to talk about all the things that we are wanting to release. So I'm at going this time. to rewind a little bit back to before we knew we got this apartment. It was making a lot of my fears feel like they were reality. And I feel like this needed to happen, how long it took needed to happen. So I would face those fears head on. There were so many moments where I'd be crying and screaming in bed because I didn't feel like I could function without my family. Um, but they didn't want to deal with me anymore. I am an adult with a lot of high support needs. What you see on YouTube is just a smidge of a glimpse of my life. And, um, this situation made me come to terms with how hard I do struggle living on my own with a dissociative disorder, with mental health, with really bad trauma, with not knowing a lot of life skills because not a lot of people have taken the time to teach me the way that I need to be taught with how long it takes for me to retain stuff or how long it takes for me to figure out my own way of doing things. I've never had people that were patient with me, but, um, my partner that I'm moving in with, he's like one of the, literally the most patient person I have ever met in my life. And the way he approaches issues with me um, when I'm struggling with things is very patient, very calm. And that's exactly what I need. So I feel like we're about to get onto a part of our life that is stable, that we can finally learn these things that we need to, and we can learn how to function and actually do okay I have for always what. had the iner inherent need to prove people wrong, especially my dad. Um, it's something that I'm really insecure about, but growing up, I was told that you have disabilities, you're never gonna work, so I place so much importance on having a career 
to prove that, oh, I can do something with my life. Um, it doesn't help that I come from a family of people that are really successful. My dad works in the news. Um, my aunt works at like a bank. Like we're all, they're all very successful people. And I've always been kind of in the background struggling because I had so much trauma from my father, from the abuse, from the things that I was experiencing. And now in life, I have trauma from exes and stuff. It's it's hard when you have trauma to look at everybody that's in your life and see how ahead they are from you. It makes you feel like you're on this constant racetrack to catch up and you're constantly playing catch up, but you're never to their level. And I had to sit with myself and I had to think, I'm sorry. I had to apologize to myself, I'm, I'm, like, I'm sorry that we're not to the level we want to be, but I don't feel like you're meant to be at that level. I feel like you're meant to figure out your own way of doing things. And that's why we originally started YouTube was to prove to ourselves that we could do something with our life. It was just a hobby, but it's turned into so much more for us. We're going to be starting our own um, small business and it might just be extra money. Who knows, you know? Um, but I've always had people look at what's wrong with me um, and tell me to not even try, to not even bother. And instead of making me quit, this is one of the things I love about myself, instead of making me quit, that made me try harder to keep at the YouTube channel and stuff and try harder to work towards the life I get. And I have left relationship after relationship because I realized that those relationships were not benefiting me. I was going through the same kinds of abuse I did in childhood. And I thought, I went through like this huge war of fighting for things not to be that way to where now I'm psyched out that the past, also oh, I'm sorry about the flies. I really, um, this place has become an absolute dump during this situation because of depression and stuff and there's flies everywhere. After I'm done filming, I'm gonna be taking this off and um, putting comfy clothes on and taking that trash the frick out. Cause I just can't anymore. <laughs> this place is just, when you're meant to leave somewhere, it will make you really uncomfortable. But as I was saying, it lit this fire under me to work harder at my dreams. And I worked so hard to leave all these relationships behind and fight this war and go off on my own. And for the longest time, two years, the the 2023 and 2024, most of it felt like everything was just falling the fuck apart. I felt like my life was in flames and it freaked me out, but we're on the other side of it now. I only have a month of waiting, cleaning this place up, packing, and I'm gone. We did it. We did it. And this is why I wanted to film this video. I know talking about these things would make me be like, hey, you I did still it. Have <laughs> such a heavy fear of fail failure though. I'm like, what if my business doesn't pan out? What if this YouTube thing doesn't pan out? But I look at it this way. I've always had these talents and I do have people that are like, oh my God, you're so cool. All that talk of failure comes from my father. People see me and see what's special about me. He didn't, but because he did it doesn't mean I can't be successful. I have the worst ethic ethic and the strength and the skills and the know-how to make something of myself. It's overwhelming to think that someday I could not be on SSI. I could um, have a life for myself because people, what people don't rec realize is SSI, it feels like you're trapped. And I know, oh, you're benefiting from the system. I'm gonna get those hate commenters. You can't get married. You can only save so much. It's like trapped poverty just because you can't work a regular job that benefits to the society that's honestly turning the shit lately. Nobody wants to. But be yeah, a growing up, I would always be told if you work and then you get fired and you get your disability money taken, that it's gonna be really hard to get back on it. And that's what my dad would tell me, and it would psych me out so much from even trying. I want to get rid of all these voices in my head of him, of him, of my ex, of family, of, peop of people that have had nothing but doubt for me. I just, in this video, this is my way of, I'm releasing Lately, all of it. I've, I have a hard time with pattern recognition 
adding on to trauma and triggers. I've had a pattern my whole entire adult life to survive getting away from my family when things were falling apart or they wanted to control where my life was headed. I had a habit of getting into relationships to get away and I had to tell myself that this is not what's happening this time. Yes, I'm losing my home because of my family, yes, but I genuinely have fallen, genuinely have fallen in love with him. He is not like the other guys I've fallen for, but where it was just like, quick. This has been a very slow burn romance. We started out as friends, then we got together and I didn't get to see him face to face for three months. So we've had to talk. Well, the gift with long distance is you really had to talk and get to know each other before you take those big next step, like living together and stuff. And I know we're not even together a year yet, but we've been together for months. And I've always moved in with people immediately. And I know who he is as a person. We've been opening up to each other. He's very calm and sweet. And um, he matches my goofiness and my dorkiness when I'm at my best. When I'm crying and I'm a mess, he's he meets me with calmness and not anger. He doesn't have an anger bone in his body. Like he's just a calm, mellow guy. But I found myself these past few months being scared that I'm, rep I'm repeating a pattern. And I had to sit back with myself recently after we found out we had this place. I had to be like, listen, ghosty. Being an adult is gonna be hard, especially for you because you have a lot of issues. Being an adult is going to be hard. It's not going to be perfect right away. You're going to go through the same trials and tribulations you did in the past with being independent and stuff. But this guy, this guy is different. He's sweet. He's calm. He's on your level. Y'all are both on the same level. There's not this weird power imbalance anymore of somebody feeling like they're above you. Y'all meet like same level. And that's overwhelming because you see yourself in them. They haven't done much with their life either. Y'all literally are on the same level, learning together at the same level. And that's scary as fuck because what have you been told your whole life? That you're going to fail and you're going to mess things up. So now you found somebody that is literally a mirror of you in, in a lot of ways. And you're like, oh my God. But... I also had to look at the excitement of it. We're gonna film videos together. We're gonna decorate that place very spooky because we both love Halloween. As I said, mirror of each other in a lot of ways. Um, you're gonna heal in this relationship because of how calm he is all the time. You're living in a good area where you can get help for your issues. Like things are going to work out. It's not gonna be immediate though, but you just went through all this storm and the universe makes this guy appear very randomly. He's a gift a gift to me he always has been the universe brought us together to heal and for this chaos to stop because he is so mellow and calm he like numifies nullifies the the chaos in my life and he feels like but home. with this new part of my life coming up i also have to not fall into who i used to be where i super clung on to the fact that i needed a caretaker I have learned so much independence in this era in my life. So much independence. I know how to get food for myself. I know how to set things up. I overthink too much because I used to need a caretaker so badly because I was conditioned and programmed to be that way. That learned helplessness, that clinging on to my abuser, that clinging on to the person that was in control of me. I don't have to do that anymore. I get to be a whole new me in this era, and that's why it's different. I'm also different. I've grown So a in this lot. new era, y'all are gonna watch me let things go. Y'all are going to watch me grow and evolve as a person. You're gonna watch me tackle all these fears one by one, like I have been through these entire situations. This is the time where I get peace. And I hope anybody that's watching this video that is a late bloomer, tread through the chaos. There's a rainbow at the end of that. You just have to keep working for it. You have to put in the action. You have to put in the action and you have to do the inner work or you're going to keep repeating the same cause, chaos because you are a part of 
why that pattern keeps repeating because you keep seeking it out because you're not healed. And I'm not saying that I'm completely healed, no. But I had to do a lot of inner work so I didn't repeat these patterns from the past. And I could escape and never let this any of this pain I talked about in my past story times happen to me again. So I hope you spooky ghosts enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for those of you that are starting life a little bit late because there has been so much stuff that has happened in your life. I hope this helped the people that are in a really dark place right now and are looking for a little smidgen of light. Let me be your light. So till next time, stay spooky. I'm so excited. This is the last month in this apartment. Woo! <laughs>